So another example question for you where you are given um, an object and its image and you have to say under which or which matrix has been used uh, to, to map uh, object A onto its image A apostrophe. Yeah? So you have to decide upon the matrix. And in the previous video I've explained um, to you how to do that, yeah? but it's, it's, it's good to realize first of all that these will always be two by two matrices. Yeah? So I'm just going to put those four dots there and now I'm going to try to fill those dots with some numbers. Okay, and what is the strategy I told you? You gotta decide first of all upon okay, what kind of transformation happened. What is going to map A onto A apostrophe? Well, it's not an enlargement, is it? Eh? It's also not uh, a translation, perhaps a reflection, but I believe it is a rotation, okay? And perhaps a piece of uh, scrap paper um, would help you there to see indeed it is a rotation. So to find the matrix, I'm telling there, I need to find the transformation use. It's a rotation uh, in the origin. Okay, that's the center. And it is a 90 degrees, yeah, 90 degrees uh, clockwise. Okay, clockwise, there we go. So that is the transformation used, yeah? Now, what do I do to find the matrix? I evaluated for this transformation for two points. Yeah, so just making a sketch. Yeah, and first of all, for this point, which is point one uh, zero. So as a column vector, one zero. What does one zero become after a rotation uh, with the center being the origin 90 degrees clockwise? Well, one zero with a 90 degree clockwise rotation is going to be over here. Yeah, so what is the coordinate going to be? It's going to be minus one, sorry, not minus one, it's going to be zero minus one. Yeah, because it's not going horizontally, it's only going one down, zero minus one. So as a column vector, that would be zero minus one. Okay, and exactly that column vector I have to put in here in my final answer, zero minus one. Good, but still two dots left because we have to evaluate it for another point, yeah, the vertical point, which is point zero one. And where will that be? Where will that one be after a rotation yeah, about the origin 90 degree clockwise? Well, that one will then be over here, which is point one zero. So as a column vector, one zero. And that one zero is or are my two missing numbers for my matrix one, zero. There we go. So that's my final answer. I always like to check my work, yeah, because sometimes I make yeah, a silly mistake. Yeah, we all make silly mistakes, doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you uh, try to, uh, you know, find them and eliminate them then afterwards. So I'm gonna check it for this point, okay? This point after the rotation is over here, okay? So if I say that is my matrix, if I say the matrix 0, 1, minus 1, 0 uh, describes this transformation, then if I multiply it by the coordinate of that point, 1, 4, yeah, if I multiply it by that particular coordinate, 1, 4, then I should get that coordinate there, as I showed in my previous videos. Okay, so I'm just going to check that. This is 2 by 2, that is 2 by 1, so yes, I can multiply it and my answer is going to be a 2 by 1 uh, matrix, yeah. I know that because I've done it a thousand times, so do you, yeah, but still it's good to check that every time. 0, 4, minus 1, 0. So 4 minus 1 is the new coordinate after the transformation. Yeah, that point after the transformation under that matrix is going to be that point. 4 minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. Boom! Fantastic. Explainingmaps.com. Check my website, guys. Like and share this video uh, if it was useful. And I wish you all the best and all the luck. And I'll tell, talk to you later. Bye-bye.